Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2022 and another part of Championship 2 Champions League with Nottingham Forest and today we are back with some action in the Championship, one against Huddersfield and then the second match away from home at the Stadium of Light against Sunderland. Thank you for the incredible support on the series so far, hopefully we are back to normal with content this week, it will be Monday to Friday at 5 p.m. and then once the Newcastle series is finished I'm hoping to do this series daily so make sure you keep hitting the, the like button down below and getting involved down in the comment section to help the channel grow and find people just like yourself that enjoy the content it really really would help and 30 likes would certainly be a massive help towards that since you were last with me things have gone pretty well uh to be honest with you so you last seen us in the match against Middlesbrough 3-1 we lost that match and it was a double defeat day but we bounced back with a 3-2 victory against Preston North End Niasi and Lewis Graben getting the goals there we then beat Peterborough United 4-2 with Graben, Parrott, Worrell and Niasi on the score sheet there uh, then we drew one all against West Bromwich Albion away from home Paul Glatzel getting uh, the equaliser late on in that match and then uh, a very disappointing performance against Barnsley we were 2-0 up by half time with Graben and Troy Parrott putting us uh, ahead but then unfortunately Barnsley came back in that second half and managed to come back and, and win 3-2 uh, but most recently we bounced back to some really good form against Birmingham City with Ryan Yates, Lewis Graben, Troy Parrott and Joe Worrell all on the score sheet as we came out 5-1 winners against Birmingham City. That all means that we are currently in fourth position in the Skybet Championship. 11 wins in our first 18 games. We're on 36 points, three points clear of a seventh placed Ipswich Town and uh, just a point shy of... Norwich City who are in the automatic promotion spots. Um, Brentford looking very, very strong at the moment. Cardiff City, unfortunately for them, still haven't got a permanent manager yet. Uh, they're still down in 21st place in the championship. We have uh, Lewis Graben, who is the top goal scorer in the division at the moment. 17 goals from 18 appearances for him. He's doing a fantastic job. Top assist is Gareth Bale, but unfortunately he has picked up an injury. He's got a twisted ankle, so he's going to be out for three to six weeks. Should be back just before Christmas, hopefully. So, a quick little look at squad performances with that in mind. Top goal scorer is, of course, Lewis Graben, but then the next best is Billy Sharp with seven. So, although Lewis Graben is doing a fantastic job, you know, we need more players to be contributing to the goals. Billy Sharp with seven. Joe Worrell has got six and Scott McKenna five. So other than uh, Billy Sharp, the next best player that's not a defender on corners is Troy Parrott with four from five starts. Top assists is Gareth Bale with ten, uh, five for Oliver Norwood and four for Oyeda. And top average rating is Gareth Bale with a 7.51 at the moment. So... Let's have a little look at the team for today for our match against Huddersfield. It should be a match that we're looking to win. We've got Bryce Samba starting in goal. We've then got Pinto, Embiso, Joe Worrell and Greg Taylor in defence with Ojeda and Harry Arna in the middle of the park and Joe Lolly starting behind Lewis Graben, Billy Sharp and Troy Parrott up top. So let's get into the action without any further ado and hopefully we can grab a few goals today against Huddersfield get ourselves back into that automatic promotion spot Huddersfield did beat us the last time that we played them I believe that was probably uh, towards the back end of last season but here they come the players out onto the pitch as I say before if you are enjoying it take that second to hit the like button or just leave a little comment below Say hello, let me know how you're doing in your save I'm really really intrigued lots of people are doing some Really interesting saves this year and really inspiring me to keep keep going. So do let me know uh, down in the comment section below. But that was a little bit of a stressful start with uh, Huddersfield hitting the bar early on there. Here's uh, Evo Pinto now. Gets it to Joe Lolly. Now to uh, Joe Worrell. 
Now to MB Saw. MB Saw forward to Evo Pinto now. Pinto. What's he going to do? Gets it back to Ojeda. Pinto again. Can he whip it in? Yes, he can. Troy Parrott with the header, and it's 1 0. That is what we are talking about. Fifth goal of the season for the Tottenham Hotspur, Lorne. And he could be a really crucial player because if, if him and Graben can grab themselves 20 goals this season, it's unlikely that we're, we're going to finish outside of the playoffs. And I think that's got to be the target this year. You know, bring Nottingham Forest back into that promotion conversation. I, are we going to have enough to go up this year? I'm not so sure, but hopefully we can we can be there or thereabouts. And if we're there or thereabouts on the last day of the season, we jump up into that uh, that that position uh, in second because I think Brentford are going to walk the league. To be honest with you, but if we go out there and we manage to finish second I think we can be absolutely thrilled with that he has uh, Moncur on the ball what can he do with it it's MB Saw who cuts it out it's cleared by Samba now here's Saar gets it forward to Clark Clark on the ball gets it in and uh, wow Jordan Rhodes I mean that's a player I haven't seen knocking about for a long long time let's have a look at him 32 years old now used to be an absolute beast in football manager but actually hasn't scored more than 10 goals in a season since 2015-16, uh, which is, is crazy. Okay, he did it last year for Huddersfield, 11 in 35, but hasn't scored a goal yet this year. No doubt that's going to change now we've clicked on him. We know how football manager works. You know that it's against the rules to, to click on a player, especially if you want to stay ahead in a match, that is. But uh, Jordan Rhodes surely will score against us at some point today. But uh, no, decent first half from us. That was a good goal from Troy Parrott. Good little movement. Decent defence so far. 60 minutes gone. And uh, Harry Arda not having a good game. So we're going to put on Paul Glatzel for him. Joe Lolly also not having a good game. So we'll put on Brennan Johnson. I think Ben Woodburn, he is coming back from injury, but maybe just a little bit too soon for him just yet. So we'll, we'll see how he gets on. But uh, here is Saar. Saar on the ball. Gets it to Moncur. Now to Daly, to Moncur again. Rhodes gets it to Clark. It's great tackle, but there you go. Oh, how did he miss that? Maybe now I'm seeing why he hasn't scored a single goal this season. That was an open goal. And he still couldn't score. Unbelievable. Right. Niasi, he's going to come on. Uh, Billy Sharp is going to come off because he has really declined over the last few weeks. He did score a hat-trick earlier in the season. And that's sort of carrying him to looking like he's doing a great job. He, he don't think he's going to be uh, getting the championship golden boot this year. And I, d I don't know whether we're just not using him uh, correctly, but... Yeah, just can't get the, the, the best out of him, unfortunately. Uh, Taylor's picked up a knock, and I don't think... No, we don't have any other substitutions. That's a, a little bit of an oversight on my part. So we could end up down with 10 men at some point. That's a good ball over the top, and it's Monker, and that is going to be a penal, Jeff. That is going to be a penal. And is it going to be Jordan Rhodes that steps up? It is... And there it is, the customary goal for clicking on the player. Jordan Rhodes scores his first goal of the season from the Penno Jeff spot. And there it is, one all now. And it's going to be Greg Taylor with this long throw. Niasi saying it's a, a very good header, but not quite in the back of the net. Now it's going to be uh, Ojeda with this free kick. Long highlights from here, usually ending goals. However, it didn't happen there. Didn't happen there. We're going to encourage the boys. We've only got a couple of minutes of added time. And unfortunately for us, we have not won this match. One all against Huddersfield. I think that that should have really been a, a match that we were banking on the three points. We've got Sunderland coming up. They're down to 17th now. And goodness me, look at their goal difference. I don't know what's happened to them uh, in recent matches. But something's gone wrong somewhere. Let's have a little look. Oh, my goodness. Uh, a 6-1 and a 5-0 recently and a 4-2 in the most recent match. So, 
possibly they're going down the Swanee a little bit. So we'll see how we get on against the Mackens, shall we? Well, a couple of changes for this match against Sunland away from home. Scott McKenna comes back into defence. Uh, Guyton Bong is going to be playing at left back. Ben Woodburn and Ryan Yates have come into the midfield. And we've changed Billy Sharp to a poacher because apparently that is his best role. So hopefully we will now see the goals flow. That is the plan anyway. By the way, let me know down in the comments section any uh, audio notices. I am using my new Elgato Wave 3 for this uh, recording. And yeah, I'm, I'm having a few problems with it at the moment. So any sort of advice down below or feedback would be great about what it sounds like. That sort of thing. Because sometimes, you know, I can... Um, well... Have I just worked out how to break football manager with Billy Sharp? Because we've had 1 minute 30 in this match and already he's scored. It was Burge forward, uh, head up by Troy Parrott. Billy Sharp grabbed it and straight away has scored an absolute beauty. And it's 1-0, eighth goal of the season for him. If he can get in on this action that uh, Troy Parrott and Lewis Graben are on, you know, this could be... Unbelievable, but Worrell boots it forward. There goes Graben, but it is cleared by the uh, the defender. But Evo Pinto's got it now. Pinto running down this right-hand side, loses it, though. And now he has James Collins, our former Cardiff City player. He is uh, circling now, gets it into the middle, header away by Bong. And that is uh, pretty much the end of highlight, you would say. Winchester now on the ball. Is he going to whip it in this time? Maybe he does. Here's Evans. Evans now to, to circ in into the middle. Greenwood with the header over the bar. Whew, that was lucky. Um, but yeah, you, you know, there's, there's only so much I can listen to me on audio and be a perfectionist about it. But please let me know. And is it an improvement over the old audio? Or do you not tell the difference? Because that would be wonderful as well. Um it's going to be a free kick from Troy Parrott. He shoots a... What a goal that is! From Troy Parrott. Sixth goal of the season for him. And that was an absolute beauty. From the, the, the day that... He just whipped it round the, the wall. And that was right into the top right corner there. And not a chance for Burge to, to save that. And that was quite unbelievable there. Woodburn's got it back. Gets it back to Samba now. McKenna forward. Billy Sharp was there. Couldn't do anything with it though. Sandler. Now van der Huygen. Now to Worrell. Worrell. What's he going to do with it? Boots it forward. And that's going to be a chase from Troy Parrott. He's not going to quite reach it. But it is cleared again from Sunderland. Straight to Worrell. Here's McKenna now. McKenna to Evo Pinto. Pinto on the ball. Can he whip it in? Pinto. Does whip it in. Troy Parrott, there it is. That's his second of the game. 3-0 within 30 minutes. And this is exactly the sort of performance that I want to see. That was brilliant from Troy Parrott. Evo Pinto there with the run down the right-hand side. He whips it in. Troy Parrott with his noggin. That's in the back of the net. And it's 3-0 to Nottingham Forest. And that is what we are talking about. And that is why... It was so important to get those three points against Huddersfield because sometimes we are blowing teams off the park. We need to be able to grind out those victories when it, it's looking against the, the odds. And here's Billy Sharp again. Well, we've broken football manager. We've worked out how to use Billy Sharp. And apparently it's as a poacher. And yet he still scores from outside of the box there. That was ridiculous. It was a good ball through from Parrott. And then Sharp with the shot. So two goals and two assists for Troy Parrott so far. That is a very, very, very strong performance. Uh, he has only been given the credit for one assist so far. Which is a bit of a shame, I think. Because he was definitely involved in the other one. But there you go. 4-0 by the 35-minute mark. And that is just unbelievable. Uh, Lewis Graben has suffered... A bruised ankle, bless his cotton socks. So we might need to bring him off. Here he is now. Sharp. Greenwood. Greenwood to Winchester. Greenwood again. Winchester. Boots it forward. Here's uh, Embleton now. Embleton with the shot and Sunderland are back in it. 
third goal of the season. And the reason I say they're back in it is because that goal has come just before half-time and that can really reinvigorate them going into the second half. So I think we have to say you might be winning, but don't get complacent, basically. And I am going to take Lewis Graben off. We are going to put Niasi on. Here's Bong with the, the long throw. Parrots there. Oh, how's that not gone in? Here's uh, Evil Pinto. Nope, end of highlight. So Ben Woodburn, again, not having the best of games. Joe Lolly into the middle. Worrell with the header. Parrots there, but can't steer it into the back of the net. And Sunderland somehow are hanging on here to us only scoring four goals at the moment. So Ian Ewe is going to come on now. Was tempted to put on Paul Glatzel, but uh, we'll give him an extra match off. And uh, I, I did forget, but we have got the winter break coming up soon because of the World Cup, of course. So that will allow at least Gareth Bale to, to come back and, and be at his best. Jermaine Defoe's out injured as well, so we get our backup striker back. It, you know, things should hopefully, fingers crossed, fall into place quite nicely throughout the winter break and, and we'll be back ready and raring to go just after Christmas which I'm really looking forward to. So, 10 minutes left in this match. Here's Samba. Now gets it to Worrell, to Art, uh, Arta, to McKenna. Boots it forward. Niasi's there, headed down to Billy Sharp. Here's Arta, forward to Joe Lolly now. Lolly over the bar. He's come in, he's replaced Gareth Bale, and he does look a bit of a handful in that, that shadow striker role that, that Gareth Bale has, has made his own this year. Here's Arta. Now Lolly again gets it forward to Niasi. Niasi now gets it into the middle. Billy Sharp saying Billy Sharp scores his hat-trick. Tenth goal of the season for the old-timer. And he has somehow found a way to score goals. And apparently a poacher is the role that Billy Sharp plays the best. And there you go. 5-1 now in this match. Just uh, about to, to blow the, the full-time whistle. And there it is. Sunderland 1, Nottingham Forest 5. We contribute to Sunderland's wars defensively and uh, they now officially have the second worst goal difference in the division. Millwall still very much the worst, unfortunately, for them. They've just been stuffed 4-0 by West Bromwich Albion. Uh, Cardiff City have dropped back in to the relegation zone to... Injury time goals have put them down there. Lewis Graben out for a couple of days. Uh, Billy Sharp played eight uh, consecutive matches without scoring, then somehow scored that hat-trick and put in a man-of-the-match performance. Absolutely brilliant from him. So, uh, going to be a little bit of a break now. I think we'll come back for the FA Cup match. I won't do QPR because uh, I can't. Can't remember your name, but somebody in the comments section. I keep playing QPR on camera and absolutely stuffing them. And I know that they are your beloved. So we won't come back for QPR, but we will come back for that FA Cup match. And we'll bookend it with uh, the Blackburn Rovers game on the other side. So I've got quite a few matches to play. We've got the 2022 World Cup in between that as well. So we'll see how that goes in the next episode. But... Uh, Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you have too. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more Football Manager content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.